Well, the DNA of Zook um, for the last 32 years is all about you know, creating these experiences and memories for people, right? And I think everything that we do in terms of concepts for F&B or for nightlife really revolves around creating a space, an atmosphere where people want to create memories with loved ones and friends and families. Um, for us, that really is the DNA what we boil down to. And I think now we're just branching out into different aspects of that lifestyle ecosystem um, to provide more enjoyment for a lot more people. For me, we recently just finished Zook out, um, and uh, it was the first time we came back after four years, um, which was you know, extremely special because I think after four years ago, I wasn't sure if we were going to bring back the brand. Um, but after coming back after four years and seeing, you know, 20,000 people on the beach and, and realizing that you are really creating a magical moment for them in their lives, um, I think for me that is what really kind of gets me up every day. Um, that, that special feeling knowing that you're contributing to, you know, memories and, and experiences for these uh, thousands of guests that come through your establishments and through your events. Uh, I'm definitely a foodie. Um, I love food. I will travel all around the world for food. You know, um, one of the places that I love going to is Penang. I think that the street food, hawker culture there is something special that you don't get anywhere around the world. Um, do I go to music festivals? I think m mostly now for work, I would say. Um, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm now reaching uh, uh, my 40s and uh, I don't have the energy, unfortunately, to be able to kind of party four days in a row. Um, but of course, I still go for work and to experience what other places are doing so we can take those ideas and hopefully kind of um, bring Zook out into an even bigger, better festival. I think there was one point in my life when I felt I was anxious to ask for help. You know, sometimes in my role, um, or even as a person, you feel that asking for help is a sign of weakness. And at that point in time, you know, I probably didn't ask for help when I needed it. I think I've learned very late on in my life that actually asking for help um, is something that all of us do. In some ways, it helps you get through and you learn faster with it, right? So definitely one of my learnings is, is understanding that asking for help is not a sign of weakness. Now, mentoring other people as well is something that I take great enjoyment out of. Hi, my name is Andrew Lee and I'm the CEO of Zucru.